Hi everyone, Mr. Simmer here. Welcome to this map tour of Voabrunovska. They don't have the accents on things, so not entirely sure I'm saying it right. The interesting thing is when you're loading the map or picking the map, the uh, little statement they have underneath um, basically says, Welcome to the crap. So um, I'm kind of curious. I've heard a few folks uh, who like Polish maps have said this is the best one that's out for FS22 right now. So I wanted to take a peek at it. And roughly translated, the name of the map is kind of the dirty work or the dirty will. So I'm just not sure if the creator was trying to send a message or not. But the map author is ABT. Frankie Y, so a capital Y, so two Ys, but, and so let's see what the map author has to say. Map reproduced from real life, typically Masovian areas. So the Masovian area of Poland is, includes Warsaw, so it's right in that location there. And then it says it has a huge village, four farms, mud, two purchases, biogas plant, new lighting, medium and small fields, from the C330 to Fent, about 240 with meadows, sawmill, spring, spinning mill, two forests, PDA, quite poor but certainly legible, incredible climate, added support for seasons, mask, bush texture, traffic has been added, visual changes, new cow shed, added GR4 chicken coop, hens walk around the yard, Silage silo has been added, PDA slightly improved, new gates, new plants, and substrate textures, added extra sounds on the map, some errors in the log have been removed, buildings can be built now, Lua removed, removed cotton from field missions. And so the version I'm looking at now is 1.21, which actually has been around for about five months at this point. So. I missed this when it came out at some point, and part of it might be because there are a lot of maps that come out, especially the Polish maps, and so it can get hard to determine just which one you want to take a look at. But as I said, I've heard several people mention this one, so here we are. Okay, so having done a little scouting on the map, I'm going to try to cover everything I normally do, but it may just be slightly out of sequence. So spawn point is here in front of, I don't know, what may be an old bus enclosure. I don't know the, you know the yellow sign. Maybe it's condemned. Maybe it's still active. But if it is, it's not really being kept up much. If I look on the PDA, there I am, kind of on the, one of the main roads through town. And you can get a quick look and a quick sense immediately of the fields and so forth that are around here. And looking around at the fields, uh, the most inexpensive field I've been able to find, kind of doing my normal random click around, is this one here for 16000 And the largest field space I've been able to see is the 6.34 acre, a little over 150000 and it includes two fields. And you can see there are a few places that have a di multiple fields in them, but for the most part, most things, you know, there's this one here, there's this one here, that I'm seeing offhand, but for the most part, they're individual fields. So you can buy small parcels of land. So looking around the map, uh, initially, you know, I can see we've got GR1, GR2, GR3, and then GR4 is hidden here under the equipment that we have. But when we go into farmland mode, you can see we don't own that farm. We'd have to purchase it for $34,968, which is within the budget of the 100000 that they give you. So you could go ahead and do that, own the yard, but I guess they're implying you don't necessarily need to do that. But we'll take a look when we get there if there's any buildings or other things that then you're not able to use, for example, if you buy, if you don't buy the property. So since you don't own any land, I'm going to jump into the starting equipment first. So you can see we've got two tractors. We've got 130 horsepower John Deere and a Zeter, which is a Polish brand. So nice to see they've got that starting out here, 117. And I should say, it may not be a Polish brand, but it's a brand I see 
on Polish maps. So John Deere 175, so some reasonable tractors. 4,900 liter Rostel mash. That's relatively common. The Welger trailer that we're used to with the 8,000 capacity of 5 meter header. 3.4 meter corn header. Agromash plow. Senio 4 meter cultivator. And you've got a 5 meter disc harrow. And then a power harrow as well. Cedars go with that, 3 meters, planter, 3 meters, so you've got the ability to plant alt crop types immediately. 3,200 liter capacity fertilizer spreader, and then a front loader, and a bucket, and a bale spike. So if I hop over to where my equipment is sitting, this is it. I did hop into the John Deere that's in there, so you can interact with the doorways and so forth. They are usable. So you can see we've got our Welger trailer in here. And another large bay we can use. Power Harrow and Cedar. And then, um, what do we got back here? Ah, our corn header tucked away. And then the John Deere 7810 sitting there. And then we've got the plow, the cultivator, the bucket, the bale spike, and the planter tucked away over here. We've got the harvester and the bigger disc harrow. Looks like we've got like a cistern of some sort. Yeah, it doesn't look, I'm not seeing a sleep trigger right away, so... And that may be simply because we don't own this, so we'll test that in a second. All right, and then you've got the two tractors, including the John Deere with the front loader attached. So I think that gives us most of, of our equipment. So here's the way out. Again, everything works. So if we just take a look at field 221 across the way. So you can see 1.29 acres, field of grass but this seems to be the way we get in and out of our farm here. All right, I'm gonna try to climb up here. Nope. Thought maybe it would be like a little secret Easter egg or something, but it's not. So I have gone ahead and bought the land here. Uh, nothing new appears, so don't have a sleep trigger yet. So you'd have to place a sleep trigger. Uh, or is it up here? Nope, it nope. looks like we've got I'm thinking those are supposed to be tomatoes. But um, they look a little bit like either peppers or apples. But, you know, I'm sure they're just standard prefab items. We can go out this way as well. This is a fancier gate, so this gets us to the main road. I know they did say in the description there's traffic. Obviously we're not seeing any. Typical Polish fields, you've got uh, very thin dividing lines. We'll see if that starts to give us any issues with course play. But a good amount of ways to get over this drainage ditch here. Nice scarecrow out in the neighbor's yard. Looks like they haven't picked up our trash. Well, we can move those around too, so we can take those in if we'd like. All right, and that gate does not work. So overall, pretty basic setup, but not atypical for what you'll see in a Polish map. So, uh, you know, you do get some starting equipment, but you're able to do what you want with the land, so you're not required to buy this space if you don't want to. And we'll take a look at the other three farm locations as we drive around the map at some point. So let's do our PDA overview, or point of interest overview. So we've got a vehicle shop. These are our two, as they call, two purchases or sell points. There's an animal dealer, so you can get animals, and then there's a sawmill. So 
nothing else on the map, no productions, no other other points of interest. It's missing a fuel station, so if you're expecting that on a map, you don't have that. Now it does say in the description there's supposed to be a spinning mill. I'm not seeing that. Right. So they also talked about uh, incredible climate. So I was thinking there might be some variations. And there may be slight ones. The harvest windows may be moved around, but I'm not even entirely sure that's accurate. So I don't know that I would say this looks significantly different from the default. All right. So taking a peek at the taking a peek at the construction, uh, we can sell none of the buildings. So just be aware of that. We do own this land, so it's not anything that I'm trying to sell buildings that I don't own. Because at this point, I did go ahead and purchase it just to kind of try to give everything a legitimate look. Since there isn't much on the map, I'm going to go ahead and just drive a tractor instead of getting a pickup like I normally do because I think this will give us a pretty clear view of what we've got. There's not a lot of points of interest to go check out. Whoop, wrong way. I want to go to where the other farms are. Those are points of interest I do want to check out. I'll do the flying tour after this, but um, you're kind of getting most of what you're going to see here. Let's zoom in a bit. So, as you can see, thin fields. So this is, okay, no, this one is GR2, I think. It's hard to say which part of it is GR2. Certainly, we're not in front of it yet. So it actually is this, I think. So this is another place you can start a, um, a farm. You can see got more sheds. And then right next door is GR1. Similar type of setup, but more tall doors, I think. And actually, let me go take a look at this here. Because I'm a little confused because... Oh, I see. So there's a big door on this end. And then basically you've just got a large hall. But... Okay, that door doesn't open at all. Neither does that. So this is your working door. So it's just a large one way in, one way out storage place. It just caught my eye as I was going by because I'm like, wait, there's no doors facing into the yard. All right, we'll go over here. We'll turn around at the vehicle shop. You can hear frogs, I would say, is what I'm hearing, along with the birds, which makes sense with all that water in the drainage ditches. So this is the vehicle shop. So there's the purchase icon. All right, so I'm going to try to get to GR2. So this was GR1 and 3 that we just went by. So we've got to go to that dirt road that's near our farm to go north to GR2. So as you can see, relatively flat landscape here. I'm um, not even sure I'm going to... I'll do a flying tour just to keep it consistent with my other videos and map tours. Uh, you know, I'm not seeing the entire map. It's a lot easier to do that when we're flying. It takes longer when we're driving. So that's the road that comes from the back, just in case you're trying to get your bearings. So that's our farm over there. Same type of electrical layout that we see. Alright, so we've got some bigger water ditches there that likely irrigate the fields. Those frogs are getting getting loud. Get that auto drive window off so that we're not blocked. So we got some static cows there. And then um, 
So GR3 is, I think, this one here. So more instead of just the white, it's got a little bit of the tan buildings. It's got a back area that maybe you could put some animals and chickens, and yeah, it's got a shed back there. You can see it at the top, an open, high-roofed shed you can tuck stuff into, and then it obviously backs up on some fields there. And even on the mini-map there, like, you can see those are all thin fields, but on the mini-map they start to look... Oh, there is traffic. And he wants to go, so we'll let him go. Oh, now there's suddenly a lot of traffic. All right, go ahead. All right. So, I'll just drive around a bit. Um, as far as blending in, again, from the ground, looks like they've done a good job. Um, you know, I don't clearly see the map border. I know we're... We're not there yet, but I believe we're seeing off the map from this angle. I think that line of trees is going to be the north end. And then it looks like, you know, it might be a kind of a standard size 2x2 two two map. So here is a dirt road next to field 164, so this is... Ooh, I saw that rock, but I wasn't sure if it was real. It is. <laughs> so this is the, um... kind of the big space. It looks like you've got an area you could, I'm sure, purchase if you wanted to cut some trees down. But these do not look like standard pines, so they're probably going to require some work. And then because there is some distance to the edge, I think, at this point, you know, there's not any fields. So if I go back to the PDA here, you can see, like, technically the map edge, I'm assuming, is, is way up there since this is buyable. So I could drive for a bit and, and not really hit anything specific. Which is nice, because then it, it kind of shelters you on almost all sides, just over here. Looks like we'll have something. So let's do the flying tour. So if I head this way, so yeah, this is then the edge of the map. So, you know, the challenge is obviously, this is $11 million a border, so you couldn't purchase this and, say, expand this field, anything like that. Uh, the one thing, yeah, we haven't taken a look at is the town. It looks like, because it did say in the explanation that there's a large town. So that may be it here. Now this is actually off the border. That's one of the cell points. Right below us there. So you can see you know, pretty flat. Typical of, you know, the Polish maps. I mean, it's it's the reality. I mean, sometimes there's a little bit of a rolling hill. You know, I've done some series in FS19 on some Polish maps. Um, Donkala, I think. But, you know, very uniform and so forth. So, I believe that's toward our farm there. It's that ditch along the road. So you can see, not a not a huge map, but if you're looking for this design, or, you know, a Polish map, this might fit what you're looking for. So yeah, those are, that is our farm. Again, that is our neighbor, so this is not ours. So while you can have animals on the map, uh, there's not a whole lot of places to put them. So yeah, I'm thinking this is as close to a town as things get. I'm not seeing anything else. So it's just basically down this main road here. Alright, so the last piece is to check course play. Alright, so if we do course play field work, 
Now I'm going to pick things that typically look like problems. So here we go. All right, so you can see it picks 61 and 59 together. I have it generate a course. It's able to do that, but it does it across both fields, which is not unexpected at that point. So, um, yeah, bit of a strange line there. That just extended it. You can see I'm just picking the field position. So those fields get picked together. And this is not an atypical problem from a lot of Polish maps. Now these are divided pretty well. So these are working well. Let's see, the ones we buy here together, they show up together in course play. So do those. Uh, these can be purchased separately, so not really a reason to do it. And again, even if you have them both, you may not want to harvest them both. Um, oh wow, that picks three together. Yeah, so I picked a different field over there too, just to be sure. So it's really hit or miss. Um, um, is course play going to be able to separate things? Oh, another wow. Let's see. All right. Yeah, see, so, it, you know, and this is the perfect example. Like if I pick 184, it does that whole block, but I can then go into 174 and pick them individually. So I believe the map creator can fix this if they want to go in and, and set field boundaries better. Basically, it looks like in this block, it's 184 that is the problem, and obviously something up here, so again, 190. So in both cases, the field on the far right seems to pick everything. All right, it's not doing that up here. Oops, I picked the target position instead of the field. Because, yeah, with rectangular fields like this, generating the course is not really that big of a challenge. I mean, we can hit say this field, go ahead and, and do that. All right, so it's having some challenge there. If I don't do a headland, all right, if I don't do headlands, it can figure that one out. And sometimes you can get results depending on what you do in the positioning of the target position and so forth. So you may be able to get some headlands around there. So you can see from the course play standpoint, it's possible, but maybe not, uh, you know, it's certainly not perfect. I don't know that anything stands out over any other uh, Polish map. It's very similar. So, you know, again, I as I started the tour with, uh, people were commenting that this is, is the one they enjoy the most. This is the best FS22 Polish map they've seen. I think I've reviewed one other. Uh, I thought it was it was certainly usable as well, and just like anything, gameplay style will determine, you know, what you want to do. You obviously have to immediately put a diesel source on your farm so that you can get fuel. You'll have to then determine, you know, how you're going to play things going forward. So one thing I did want to check, okay, is contracts, which is interesting because with all these fields we have one contract available. I know they did mention in their notes that they removed cotton contracts from from the game so that those aren't generated. Did remind me of one other thing, sell points. So, um, can't sell grapes or olives. Again, there's only two sell points. Where is the biogas plant? I do remember it did say something about that, but just wanted to visit the sawmill. Just take a look. So we've got some points here for selling wood. So this is the sawmill. Here's the animal dealer. The cows are very, very loud here at the animal dealer. And then, yeah, again, the uh, cell point, one of the cell points, so they'd look similar. All right, so this is intriguing because I couldn't find it on the map. So I tagged the place. And here it is. So you can see I'm in field 189 and it's telling me this is where it's at. So unless I've got something messed up, I mean I just downloaded the map, it didn't indicate I needed to grab anything else. I mean even if somehow I was missing some sort of a model for a building for the biogas plant that he used, there should still be a clearing. So yeah, no sale point for cotton. So you know if you grow cotton, 
can't go anywhere, but you can you do sugar cane, which is interesting. Can't sell eggs, can't sell wool, milk. Again, wood chips, even though there is a sawmill, can't sell those. Can sell wood itself. The outputs of grass work, and then it looks like no production cell points. Yeah, slurry and digestate. So, yeah, it doesn't really support productions. You know, even from a cell point standpoint, it'd, it'd be one thing to not have productions on the map, but y even if you put them up, nobody's going to buy them, so you'd have to insert your own cell point to do that and so forth. So, here we here we have the tour. I, it's nothing that that's drawing me to play it, so uh, my personal pre preference is I don't know that I would use this map. Don't think I would at this point, but You've got the tour, and you can make up your own mind if it works for you. So I'll see you next time.